Hi, thanks for being here with us at the Aesthetic um, Innovation Summit. I'm here with Dr. Simeon Wall Jr., who's a plastic surgeon uh, from Louisiana, and we're gonna just talk uh, and ask three quick questions of him. Um, so the first one is, you know, we're seeing a lot of new technologies and a lot of emerging startups here at the summit um, today. Why do you think there are so many coming to market right now? Well, I think there are a lot of reasons for that. Probably the biggest one is that the healthcare industry has just shifted so much to self-pay out of the reimbursed space. And we're just seeing so much investment in all of these um, companies that really provide improvement of life for people who want to spend their own money on their own well-being and health. Mm -hmm. And on that note, so when you do see a new treatment come out, what do you need to see from the company to confidently bring it into your practice? That's such a hard answer because there's so many things, and we were just talking about this, um, that we look at as, as doctors and trying to take care of people. Uh, you know, the FDA is so stringent, and most of the things that we'd be talking about would need FDA approval, mm -hmm. and so they do a really pretty good job. Mm -hmm. Some would say too good of a job at screening things out. So I think safety, efficacy is, is just a given. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, I think that we really try to, you know, as, as I've been doing this longer, I want to have something that has staying power that is not going to just be a quick flash mm -hmm. in the pan. The way we practice, we don't really go after these things that are really marketing driven, knowing that three years from now, everybody's yeah. going to be upset. Mm -hmm. You know, we want our patients to continue to come back to us to, of course, be patients for life. And so we really look for things that have legs, mm -hmm. things that really are going to help people in their 20s and their 30s and their 40s. And they're not going to hurt them or they're not going to cause problems later that we then have to try to work around. So we try to be really thoughtful about what we try to provide for our mm -hmm. patients. And since you've been practicing for a little bit now, how has a little while, yeah? <laughs> how has what patients are coming and asking for changed, or, or has it at all? You know, I I think that we see a lot more men. Mm -hmm. I think it's just so much more common and so much more accepted among men and women for people to ask for aesthetic improvement and to to feel like it's okay to do something for themselves. And we're living longer, we're living better, we're living healthier. Wellness is such a huge component. And that really does extend to how people, when they wake up and they look in the mirror, how do they feel about themselves? So I think that they're really a lot more, um, I think they're just a lot freer to be able to ask for things, either non-invasive, minimally invasive, or invasive. It's just, it's an easier discussion nowadays, yeah. I think. Great. Thank you so much for being with no us. No problem. Thank you so much.